as a society, I think we should stop telling small businesses to charge whatever they want for their stuff just because they're a small business. <sighs> Oh my god, I've just been taking L's on L's on L's, guys. It's not even funny anymore. Because on top of Cody Rhodes being robbed of the main event of WrestleMania because of The Rock, we now have more cup drama. Because of course we do. Is this going to be an ongoing trend for the rest of the year now? You people couldn't just stop at the Stanley Cup craze in January, could you? Okay, I literally cannot even believe that I'm talking about this today, but it has flooded my For You page and I can't escape it. So now I have to turn it to you guys because if I'm suffering, y'all are gonna suffer with me, alright? We're in this together! So basically, back in December, okay? Keep December in the back of your mind because later in the video, that becomes important. Anyways, the girl in this TikTok video went to a farmer's market and bought this mug under the assumption that it only had one handle because she genuinely did not see the other handle on the mug. And how much do you want to guess she paid for it? No, seriously, like, I, I don't want to answer immediately. I want you guys to actually pause the video, look at that mug, and try to guesstimate how much she would have paid to own that mug. Got your answer? Was it $125? This, I actually have no idea who I'm going to give this to. Basically, I was at this market, the finder ke Finders Keepers Market. How can you use this cup, right? I think it's actually like a kid sippy cup, which is silly because it's ceramic, so if they drop it, it'll smash. But I didn't say that. I thought it just had one handle. I was like, oh, that's such a cute mug. Like, I'm just going to get it. Like, I was like, whatever. Like, I'll just get it. Didn't ask how much it was. She's like, yep, yeah, that's all good. You can tap. It's 100. She's like, oh, no. She's like, it's all good. You can tap. Fucking look at the F-Boss machine. $125. Look how small this mug is. Like, it's literally tiny. That's like a proper mug size. I was like, she like fully wrapped it and put it in a bag. And like, I was about to tap. She was like, there's no way I can be like, no. I could have, but I would have felt really bad. See, me, me personally, personally, I, I wouldn't, wouldn't take, take this that level, level of disrespect. disrespect. But seriously, I don't have any shame. I don't. <laughs> like, I'm sorry. Mm, I mean, this mug isn't too bad. Oh, let me just get that for Jill, you. Did you didn't even say I wanted it. Put the wrapping paper away. How much is it? It's $125. Oh, wow, wow. <laughs> no, I'm good. But it's literally supposed uh, to be right. business. It's handmade. Oh, oh, it's handcrafted, is it? It's handmade. This money is handmade, sir, babe. <laughs> but I can understand that some people don't want to seem rude. Which, by the way, please listen to me when I say it isn't rude to want to not buy a cup that you could get for $7 at Target. But anyways, I digress. She bought it anyways because she didn't want to seem like she was being mean. But surely, surely, there's no way this video offended the seller so much that she made an entire three minute video where she was acting basically manipulative towards Sophie despite the fact that Sophie never mentioned the seller's name. Sophie never mentioned the business. So I just saw this video and that's my mug. I just wanted to say thank you so so much for supporting my small business. It means so so much. Every single time someone purchases a piece that I make I have literally spent hours and hours finessing, glazing. I hand paint every single one. Notice how she says she only paints and glazes the mugs? Yeah, no, she doesn't even build them from scratch like you would with clay mugs. She just pours the mixture into a mold she got off of the Australian version of eBay, which is Gumtree. Sylvie doesn't make these by hand. I'm not in the pottery business. The class in college, it didn't go well. It was very stressful. So. Anyone who makes pottery, like does it by hand. Yeah, you are worth the money. The problem here is that she actually uses molds. So what that means is she just pours the ceramic, I guess, <laughs> into these molds and it makes the cups. And then she customizes them from there. And maybe I could see why you could justify the $125 price if you're handcrafting these mugs individually on a pottery turntable. But you literally have people from 2021 showing off the same cups they own that didn't come from your business using the molds you bought online for a much cheaper price. And I am calling it this week. It's my favorite so far. It is a gorgeous little bunny. I found this a Goodwill. It's got like an artist signature on the bottom. I love this little guy. It sits on my shelf uh, next to my clown mug. They hold pencils.
It's also deeply upsetting to have someone not only question you as a business owner and lie about how I interacted with you, but to also have you question my pricing when you too also run a small business and you know how much goes into every single little thing that small business does. Wow, okay. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's no wonder you are basically forced to delete this video. It's not only deeply upsetting to have someone question you as a small business owner, it's one of the most suspicious sentences I've ever heard in my life. And if you are looking to turn people away from your business, then by all means, you've succeeded. Rev up those fryers, because I am sure hungry for one help, help. Because yes, while it is your business and you make the products, it's also the customer's hard-earned money that they're paying you. So if you're going to charge $125 for a mug, the absolute very least bare minimum you could do is answer a goddamn question if the buyer has one. But also, I find it so hilarious how Shelby says, but you yourself are a small business owner. You shouldn't question my prices when you know what goes into this. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. You just answered your own statement. She prices her products very fairly and she still knows what goes into this. She's hands on with her products. She comes up with the designs. She is there packing orders for her small business. And yet, she's not charging hundreds of dollars now, is she? What a ridiculous argument to make. The thing that's also upsetting is that you came to the Finders Keepers Market and do you know what? We were all so excited. Even the market organizers were so excited that you came to the market and you were potentially going to shout out this wonderful event that supports small, local, creative businesses. Oh my God! Maybe the other businesses at that market are small, but you're certainly not. Especially when you have two million followers, while Sophie only has 1.2 million followers. That is almost 1 million more followers than Sophie has. And yet you have the audacity to group yourself in with the small businesses. Are you kidding me? You have the audacity to say that she wasn't shouting out your small business. Babe, if anything, her business is smaller than yours. So what the hell are you going on about? Seriously, what? I watched you pick things up and look at the prices. You picked up a number of pieces of that strawberry collection because it's freaking cute. It's so cute. And then I showed you other pieces that I had left. Because they were so popular, I barely had any of them left. It was literally your choice. And I wouldn't have wrapped it until I knew that you had you had responded that you wanted that piece. If you would like, you can send me an email and we can organize you returning the mug to me and I can issue you a full refund of the money that you paid for that piece. And I can find someone else that will really, really love and appreciate that mug. In particular, that mug is really special because it may look like just a sippy cup to you, but it actually falls under the dignity mug category where it has a double handle to help people that have different needs and different disabilities that require to handle mugs. Now, the ending of this video where she said that she specifically created this mug for people with disabilities really rubbed people the wrong way because people felt like if the purpose of this cup was for accessibility, then why not make the cup accessible in pricing to people who would actually benefit from owning this mug? Another reason why people are upset is because there were TikTokers who were uploading footage of themselves at farmers markets showing actual handmade cups from scratch that are charging literally half the price for them. And there was another creator who is actually a small business owner herself who was actually creating the mugs from the wheel and she was charging even less than the people at the farmer's market that I just showed you which is an absolute crime because her mugs are a work of art. I watched you pick things up and look at the prices. You picked up a number of pieces of that strawberry club. Just real quick, I want to weigh in. Um, I do not rely on my pottery to get me out, to get me through the week. I have a full-time job and everything. But real quick, I made these on the wheel this past summer all by my lonesome, by hand. 
I carved them all by my lonesome and by hand. And then I glazed them all by my lonesome and by my hand. And I sold them for $15. I also made these like a year and a half ago. And I sold them for like 20 bucks. These were a little bit bigger. And I sold them for like 20 bucks. At the end of the day, it's not even about the price of the mug. It's the fact that Shelby put herself in a consumer space to whine about what the consumer said about the mug. The consumer didn't even mention Shelby, didn't even mention her name. There was no negative impact at all on Shelby. So there was no need for Shelby to put herself in that space at all. So look, Shelby, when you have fellow people in your profession and in your industry who aren't even taking your side or agreeing with you, that's when there's a problem. Then when people looked into it, it made them even angrier when they discovered that an Hermes mug, sorry if I pronounced that wrong, I don't buy designer bullshit, was literally almost the exact same price, despite the fact that Hermes is literally a luxury brand. And you know how I said to keep the month of December in your minds? Yeah, well, um, it's because she waited two months to respond to this. Sophie's video was posted before Christmas. So why did Shelby only now just decide to respond three days ago? I don't know if I'm looking too deep into that, but does that just not seem a little bit strange to anybody else? And I know that some people are going to be watching this video and are going to think to themselves, how could Sophie have not known that there were two handles on that mug? It's as clear as day. Because she wasn't alone in that. There were literally other people on the app who struggled to see two handles as well. Like Sophie was coming on, you possibly couldn't have seen that it was two. Because honestly, like looking at it, that looks like that the other handle, like if like if I cover up half, that looks like that's a part of the other one. Right? Like your your eyes, if you're just looking, like there's so much happening on her display table, no lie. Like you wouldn't even guess, like, oh yeah, okay. And you just see it, you're like, ooh, cute little strawberry mug. Like, yes, I'll take that. Sophie wasn't lying because in a response video to Shelby, she said that she didn't even pick up a damn mug. Because it just didn't happen. I remember her having long brunette hair. Even if whatever, even if she dyed her hair, whatever, and that is her. She didn't talk me through the strawberry collection. She didn't show me the mug. Because I can assure you, if I picked up the mug, I would have said, I'll leave it. Because why would I get that mug with two handles? Like, do with that what you will. You have a beautiful brand. I never said anything about the pieces not being deserving of that price. All I said was that I was shocked by the price. Still paid for it because I was awkward and I wasn't going to be like, oh, I'm not going to get that. Like, I was awkward. I still want to support your small business. And in case you still may be doubting the fact that Sophie didn't know that there were two handles on the mug, it was behind the counter. So she could have just waltz behind the employees like she was the manager and grab it. Not just that, but she literally described another employee who was behind the counter on the exact same day that she was there. Remember, she recounted somebody with brunette hair. So again, she's telling the truth. So obviously, you can see why a majority of people on TikTok right now have taken Sophie's side. Because at the end of the day, Sophie wasn't mean. At all. She paid for the cup. You were paid. And she never exposed the name of your brand until you yourself did that. But it seems like farmers market people are literally obsessed with the idea of making sure they can make products that are as inaccessible to you as possible. Like, they produce items they know you literally don't have the funds to buy. They, they get like a sick, twisted joy out of it. Because you know Emily Mariko? That one girl who went uber viral everywhere for the sushi bowl that she made back in 2021? Yeah, well, she's now selling farmer's market tote bags. Hi, so tomorrow my farmer's market totes will be available at 12 p.m. PST on my site, Emily Mariko. So tomorrow, January 29th, you'll be able to go to the link in my bio and click in to shop. And I'm so excited and I hope you guys love them. For $120! No joke! And the way she presents it as if she's handling literal gold from the earth is the most hilarious thing in the world, babe. That looks like something I can get at Kmart for literally $9. $9! 
You want a luxury brand. I know you want to be, but you don't have that status quite yet. So what, what justifies this price? I don't even know what to say. I am so disappointed. I hate influencers and I can't believe this thing sold out. Granted, I don't know how many units she had. It's probably a test run to see how many units she could sell, but $120 for a random tote bag. This is the Trader Joe's tote bag. This bag does the same thing as her bag. The same thing. And it's kind of cuter, I think. This is the bag that I take to my sister's place when I want to go stay there for a couple of days. And I only paid like, what, $10, $12 for this thing? And it already looks so much better than Emily's. Look at all that color. Look at the design, dude. Like, what does this bag not have that justifies the price of your bag? <laughs> like, <laughs> Starting tomorrow, you can find my reusable grocery bags for sale on my website. We have a red one and a green one. Now, currently, these are selling on Amazon for about $4.99. Mine, however, $120. But, but listen, these ones are special, okay? Because if you look inside, um, oh, you'll find my name. See? <laughs> like... These are literally a dollar at Woolworths. Why can't you use this at a farmer's market? Like, what? I'm just stumped. I'm stumped. When did farmer's markets become so incredibly inaccessible and expensive? Like, correct me if I'm wrong. But weren't farmers markets supposed to be the cheap alternative to the mainstream market? What are y'all doing over there? Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I love you all so much, and I will see you guys.